Hey people, just a quick video. We're just putting this engine back in, right? You can see it's, uh, it's happening, but I just wanted to show you a couple other things that I've noticed to do with, I'm gonna call it dodgy workmanship, whatever you wanna call it, but you need to check these things. If it's installed correctly, you won't have any of these issues. Now, we've already talked a little bit about the spaghetti on this vehicle, but you know, when I went to check the change the fuel filter, all right, of course, that's hanging around. There was a zip tie somewhere, you know. It wasn't really doing a lot because this is still hanging around. But look, see the alloy there is broken. I mean, what do people actually do to bust the alloy out there so it won't clip in, right? So that's the first part. Like, what do people actually do to do that? And then over here, right, because I go, well, hang on, look at this. That's tech screwed, sort of, kind of, maybe. Right, both sides as loose as each other to the bodywork loosely with a tech screw. That's not satisfactory, especially for electrical component. Positive wires, you know, if that was to come off and touch an earth, you know, right here, right next to it, the fuel, whatever, not good. And then let's go next level, right? Besides that being loose, hang on. The whole thing, look, the whole thing's loose. All right, so hasn't been it's hard to demonstrate that but see the whole see that the whole thing's loose so it's an electrical catastrophe waiting to happen anyway just a short video i thought i'd just drop that one out there and show you don't do this when it comes to auto electrical do it nice and neat or take it to someone who can pay them the money thank you